In the poem Lady Lazarus by Sylvia Plath, the subject of the poem is a fictional character. Um, it's important for us to recognise that um, in Plath's poems that it's, it, we want to sort of stay away from thinking about it being directly her um, and think more of the subjects of the poems as being fictionalised characters. And here, um, this um, subject of the poem is Lady Lazarus is built around the biblical illusion of Lazarus who rises from the dead. And Plath cleverly um, invents Lady Lazarus who comes back to disempower the patriarchy you know, and is a very strong, powerful character. The poem's written in tercets, which are three-line stanzas, which um, Plath um, seems to do quite a bit, um, and she's writing using confessional poetry. So the poem opens with, I've done it again. So the um, technique that we can talk about is this meiosis understatement, um, you know, and so um, the, the premise is that, that um, Lady Lazarus has returned from the dead and has done this on a number of occasions, and so it's it's just um, par for course. It's quite a normal thing. She, um, the the line "My right foot a paperweight" is a metaphor, and it really emphasises that um, Lady Lazarus feels that she's um, stagnant. Her her progress has been uh, marred because her foot is is um, trapped on the ground and there's been no progress and we can look at that and say well in the feminist movement that there have been advances but um, quite often that there are periods where uh, uh, there is stagnation. Also there is um, you know a reference to the um, her father's foot um, and you know to the, the poem Daddy you know um, Otto Plath um, had gangrene in his foot and so we can we can um, connect ideas in the poems, um, if you like, as well. There's some very macabre imagery um, that's presented of Lady Lazarus, saying, peel off the napkin, you know, um, peel off the skin, and you can see the, the gaunt, you know, basically the, go the, um, the nose and the eye sockets, and it's a really um, um, confronting image, uh, rather than being a, Lady Lazarus being an image of beauty. Um, she's a, basically the living dead, just... Um, all, all the flesh has been torn off. Um, and I think that the idea is that um, this is challenging the notions of what beauty is. Uh, the poem is confrontational. We have this rhetorical question, do I terrify? You know, and, and so Lady Lazarus has this strong, confident voice um, and she's a very self-assured um, character. Um, Plath um, criticises the peanut-crunching crowd um, and um, does this in a number of her poems and here she's presenting this notion that women are viewed as a commodity that they're objectified and um, there is a sense of fetishization that, that um, this whole um, process of removing the bandages and stripping Lady Lazarus bare is like a, the big strip tease which what a great line that is um, and she states there is a charge, a very large charge. So this um, objectification um, of women comes at a high price, and that's interesting to think about um, in relation to women and men. Both both have a, a price to pay. Um, there's a lot of um, an anaphora in the poem near the end. There's six or so lines, um, and she states it's the theatrical comeback in broad day. And this is a reference to, um, obviously, Lazarus' re resurrection. But it's also exploring this notion of performativity, that we all perform roles in lives, in, in our lives, um, and that we all sort of mask our, um, our true identity, that we wear disguises and we don't, um, we're, we're unable to show our true selves. And um, this is a common idea in Plath's poems as well, and um, there's a lot of references in other poems to veils and the veiled lady and, you know, having that, that um, uh, veil or the disguise across the front that, that hides the true self. And this is an interesting idea that is very worthwhile exploring um, and building an argument around. At the end of the poem, we have, through assonance, beware, beware, out of the ash I rise with my red hair, and I eat men like hair. So that hair sound 
um, is um, very strong and very prominent and it focuses our attention on to a few things. So first of all we've got that warning. This is a warning to the um, to the world um, and, and you know it's it's in the sense of Lady Lazarus she's going to rise out of the ash you know and so we have a, a mythological allusion to the phoenix here and the whole notion of that was um, that the phoenix was re rose out of the ash and was reborn and was very powerful um, so it's, it's tapping into that notion um, I rise with my red hair so you know red's a prominent colour that is um, demonstrating plus poetry and here I'm interpreting as you know the personality that Lady Lazarus has red hair um, because she's fiery she's willful she's got a very strong will she's wild confident you know that she's not passive and um, you're you know the the normal beautiful um, muse or um, you know beautiful girl that is um, defined as um, passive and, and beautiful by society um, she's she's very fiery and wild, and you know that last line you know is is so so powerful, isn't it? I eat men like air, um, you know. So you know, like it's a really interesting last uh, few lines of the poem, and um, you know, I think that's these sort of things that meant her poetry took the world by storm. We've got this notion of ascendance as well, and I'm rising out of the ashes. So this is very prominent that she's um, that. Um, Lady Lazarus is, is um, you know, has the power to fly, basically. But um, I think when we look at the, uh, the women's movement and it's this notion of, of um, ascendance and rising to freedom, um, it, and, you know, we'll see that in a lot of the poems. Okay, um, when we're talking about veils, I wanted to say that Plath challenges... Um, I'm going to have to put my glasses on because I can't read it. Um, you know, when we're talking about performativity and disguise and veils, Plath challenges the roles through creating dangerous identities beneath beautiful exteriors. So you've got that beautiful exterior and then beneath that, um, uh, you know, there are a number of poems where the, the, the subject is very dangerous. So you've got that duality. Um, and this is Plath's revision of the female identity. Um, and um, this is this notion of revising the revisions of identity is something that Ted Hughes um, looks at as well in um, Fulbright Scholars and there's a reference to proof rock you know and there'll be many visions and revisions and proof rock says I didn't mean that at all so there, there's some interesting ideas to to explore in this notion of what Plath is doing through this constructed um, persona of Lady Lazarus is revising the female identity and, and, and creating a new one. So essentially, I've read somewhere that this is a revenge fantasy poem, that, you know, it's the attack of the patriarchy, which I, I think is an interesting idea too. And certainly the poem is a celebration of female identity and power and that revision. Um, and I get the feeling that there's a statement, that, you know, we'll define who we are. Um, that that's that's where the real power comes from. So the poem essentially is about identity. Now um, I've done another tutorial uh, that goes in more depth in this poem. So if you found this useful, you might like to go and check that on my my 